Hello everybody, I thought I'd do something a little different today. I'm going to try to do a series, and there's a dog, of some old vintage laptops that I came across um, quite a while back. Basically my mom worked at a hospital and whenever they would get rid of old hardware and computers and stuff, they would wipe out all the personal data and then they would basically throw them away. So she was happened to be there that day when they were going to throw out several and she knew that I might be interested and she brought home a box full of old laptops and you know obviously these are not ones that you could really do much with um, uh, they're for, most of them are from like the late 90s early 2000s but this one is the Gateway Solo 5300 and I'm planning on doing maybe a one review per week or maybe a couple per week till I get through all of them. Um, it's not going to be super detailed because it's, a lot of them I just don't know a lot about and I had to really look up online to get uh, details but basically this one is this Gateway Solo 5300. Um, I don't have the exact date when it uh, debuted. I'm guessing early 2000s because of some of the articles I read. Um, the original manufacturer retail price on this was $2,803, which is outrageous. Um, it was running on an Intel Pentium 3 processor at 550 megahertz, and it came standard with Windows 98 second edition, but you could get it preloaded with uh, Windows 2000 Professional if you wanted to. Um, it had this particular model has 64 megabytes of RAM. Um, you could, it has two RAM slots, and you could have um, up to 256 megabytes each, and each slots um, for 512 megabytes total if you wanted. Um, the display is 12.1 TFT SVGA at 800 and by 600, and produced up to 262,000 colors which was actually pretty decent for the time. Um, as far as sound, 16-bit stereo and the sound processor was an EF1980 Maestro 3 chipset. You have a phone jack for a 56k modem and then also an Ethernet port and then you also had a CD-ROM which came standard. Um, or actually, I'm sorry, it did not come standard. This actually has a CD-ROM drive, but you could swap that out for another 3.5 inch floppy drive, um, a super disk drive, or a second hard drive, or even a second battery. Um, the weight on this thing is really heavy. It's 5.5 pounds just for the laptop. And then the battery, or the uh, power brick, is another one and a half pounds so the whole thing is going to be over seven pounds as far as the ports on the side you have the Kensington lock which is pretty basic then you have your three audio ports and then you, of course your phone and then you also have a PC card slot to expand and then the Ethernet port and on the back it's pretty basic you have your PS2 port for your for an external mouse or keyboard, and uh, then you have your parallel port for your printer, and then this also had a TV output, which was kind of interesting for the time. Although it wouldn't work today, you'd have to get a adapter to downgrade the signal for a digital TV. Uh, and then the next one is a docking port. I'll get back to that in a second. And then a serial port, a monitor port, and then your one USB port. Um, but as far as the interesting thing, one thing about some of the older Gateway models is they, Gateway was really big on docking stations. Um, they would have these proprietary plugs on the back where you could plug in a docking station that you, of course, had to buy separately. And it would basically expand your laptop and turn it into what would be comparable to a desktop. It would have um, capability to plug everything in such as a external monitor or even a TV 
and a keyboard, mouse, and it would basically turn your laptop into a, a desktop. Now today, I mean, you know, you can easily plug in your laptop into a TV, so it's not really a big thing now, but at the time it was pretty big. Uh, but basically, yeah, so that's the Solo 5300. Um, I have had this running before when it came, it had Windows 98, and I had planned on trying to get it restored and see what I could do with it, but, um, there were so many things that were corrupt inside, like files that were messed up and corrupted, um, files, so I had to re, uh, I tried to restore Windows 98 and it just didn't work. So, I just haven't got around to fixing it. Or doing anything with it there's the dog again <laughs> but basically uh, it actually worked fairly well considering you know it is what it is it's not going to be fast or anything compared to today's computers but you know for the most part it was actually decent and you know if you can pick one up really cheap they're fun to play around with but obviously that's about all that they're good for nowadays Coming up in a few days, I'm going to be doing another review on the next laptop in this series. It's the M1200 from Gateway. You'll see most of these laptops are Gateways. They must have had a contract with the hospital, but it's actually this. A very, very primitive version of, I guess, you could call it an iPad. Um, but that's coming up in a few days. So until then, thank you for watching, and please like this video and leave any kind of comments or questions in the comment section and I always try to uh, respond to everyone so thanks for watching and have a great day